Well, hey everybody, man, this is a very um, late Thursday night for me um, and probably a very rainy morning on this Friday. Um, so me and my brother just got back from playing golf. We've been playing golf for a little bit now. Unfortunately, we were going to show you a nice little compilation of epic failures of us playing golf. But that didn't happen. We actually shot good today. Only was 10 over. Um, <laughs> but um, I wanted to bring you something still about it. And it was something I was thinking today. While me and Mike were playing, I think it'd be great to apply. So, I hope you've played the game of golf. If not, you've clearly not gone into the comedy that comes out of playing golf for your first couple of times. Trust me, if you play with a group of friends, it's the most fun you'll ever have. It's so awesome. Um, and me and Mike do not take it seriously. We go, we have fun, and we have bro time. But one thing that's very big about golf is two things. Number one is knowing your distance. So, got a club here. This is a hybrid for our example. But so, distance is everything in golf. And when me and Mike started playing, we were guessing, we're like, oh, it looks like it's so far. Let me grab this club or this club or this club. It wasn't until me and Mike actually saw improvement until we went to a driving range. We actually went to a simulator place and we learned our true distance. We learned what each club hit. And while when you look at some of them, it's only a small difference of 10 to 20 yards, it makes a whole lot of change. And so I feel like that's a lot of times what we need to also do in our walk as Christians, is finding what clubs do we use for what situations. Because even though you might be able to, let's say, we're gonna go into my bag of clubs, okay? This is my music club. I am the best with this club. I can hit it out of the park with this club. But this is not me the club for each situation. What I might need to do is I might need to pick up my listening club. This is pro, it doesn't go that far, but it is extremely effective. You know, maybe I need to grab my club of hospitality or grab my club of being a friend. And what I'm mainly saying by that is in our Christian walk, there are going to be challenges we're gonna to need to pick the right club for. Sorry, I have to grab a drink. But here's the other thing. It is no use for you figure out what club you need for the situation if you don't know the situation in the first place. Usually in golf, we use a thing called a range finder. Um, I use an app for mine, but it mainly tells me how far away I am from the hole. And that helps me choose what club for each situations I have. God has given us many clubs, many gifts to use. But the thing is, we cannot use these by ourselves because <laughs> like my brother was doing today, when you when you use things and you don't know exactly how to, you hit the ball just about nowhere. So if you don't know how God wants to use your gifts, you're never gonna hit it as effectively as if you have God as the range finder. If you had God as the one who's giving you feedback on your swing, when God is the one in control of your clubs and your talent, so, a little bit on the shorter side, I wanted to bring that to you, and I really want to ask you the question, what are some of the clubs in your bag? What are some of the things that God has given you that you feel like God has put on you to take on the driving range of life? And then from there, what, it, what clubs, what talents is God maybe asking you to work on? And also, are you approaching each situation with the right range? Are you allowing God to be your range finder so you can choose which of your talents or which of the things that God's given you for each of these situations? Well, guys, thank you so much. And I am excited to see y'all on Sunday. Please stay safe. 
um, through the hurricane coming tomorrow um, and through Saturday, probably Sunday. We're going to get this for a while. but And keep Florida in your prayers. It is crazy what's going on. And um, I hope that we can find some ways to help them out as well. I thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your Friday. Bye.